Hi, welcome back to the Tracking Success channel. And today I'm going to talk about how to add an ads.txt file to your WordPress website. An essential step after receiving the good news, your website is now ready to show AdSense ads. Um, when you receive the email, you get good news. But when you go uh, back to your Google AdSense account and you go to sites and you may see this status, the ads.txt status is not found. So when you click on it, you uh, they say you have to add the ads.txt file to your website. So um, I'm going to do this right now for my WordPress website. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to copy this and we go back to a WordPress dashboard and we're going to install a new plugin. Then we go to search plugins and search for file manager because we are uh, going to have to create a new txt file um, install now. Uh, we only have to add the file and then we can delete the plugin again. So don't worry, we don't have to add um, new plugins to your website. Uh, click on activate and now in the left bar you will see the web we file manager sorry and then we're gonna add a file check right here and txt plain text and change the name to ads.txt and now uh, the file is made but we're gonna have to add the adsense code to it so go back to google adsense copy this code and then we're gonna right click on it and check for code editor Copy and paste the code, save and close. And now first we're gonna see if the file is added to you of added to your WordPress website. Just type in your website URL and xads.txt. Press enter. And now you have to see your Google AdSense code. All right. Then the last thing we have to do is check in Google AdSense if it's working. As you can see, the ads.txt file is found. Um, the best part is, is that you can delete the uh, WordPress plugin file manager. And that's not a good news because most of the time we don't like uh, to add more uh, plugins to our website. So we're going to leave uh, the txt file just right here. Go back to plugins. Um, deactivate. And then we are going to delete and as you can see uh, it's still right here and if you verify with Google AdSense it's also still right here so you can safely delete the plugin um, yeah that was really it this was the video on how to add the ads.txt file to your WordPress website without any plugins uh, you just had to uh, download it for a few minutes um, yeah this was video i hope you liked it and now you can run ads on your website see you the next time